Welcome to another episode of What You're Watching. It's Poker Face Time. I know I'm going to get that back sometime. In the middle of the night, you're going to be getting a clapperboard oh in my face. We're going to do an episode on empty nesters' sleeping habits. Yes. And since I've had four hours of sleep, we're going to do it soon. Yeah, but okay. I was going to go off to. I was going to go down the tangent of <laughs> of the snoring thing, but it wasn't uh, just snoring. It's not why did he kick snoring. you last night? No. Okay. You okay. made this big noise. I literally crawled into a fetal position and got on the edge of my king-sized bed because I felt the karate kick coming. Right? I, did I go like this in, in bed? And okay. I was told that when you're our age, you need to take magnesium. Good for your heart, good for your muscles, and we've both been trying to work out, and yeah. it's also supposed to be really good for sleeping. Who told you that, by the way? My mom's cardiologist, my friend Jennifer's cardiologist, and Sabrina, my trainer. So cardiologists recommend magnesium. They do, Google it. Yes. Anyway, you know, with me, more is better. So she took the whole bottle. So I took two, <laughs> because one seemed to relax me, and I thought I want to be put out. I was up like this all night, like, I got, 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 got. And then, usually if Zeus snores and I'm asleep, it doesn't bother me, but I didn't go to sleep till 3.30. That's, that's really late for you. Usually you're asleep by 9.30. I know, so I'm tired. So anyway, that's another episode for another yeah, time. Yeah, wow. Good thing we're talking about poker I guarantee face. there will be so many comments from women about their empty nester husbands snoring. All right. Anyway, what you watching? What, what did we watch? What did we watch? You know what we watched? We watched Poker Face. I was pretty intrigued by this. How did we find out about it? Uh, how did we find out about it? I wasn't at the Super Bowl. And so... <laughs> Where are we going today? Oh, I'm sorry. Where am I going today? I'm not bitter at all. Well, yeah. I wasn't at the Super Bowl, and I was watching the ads. They hey, kept you got to watch the video after I got back. They That's kept so. advertising Poker Face. Oh, really? Yes. See, I don't get that inside the stadium. I know. And it was intriguing. And I have to tell you, because Zeus is like, our whole life has been funded by advertising, so I can't knock it. But it works because it, the ads looked intriguing. And I thought, we should watch that for what work. What you watching? Interestingly enough, too, do you know the woman's name who is the lead in it? Natasha Leone. Yeah. Do you know what she's famous for? Tell us. Orange is the New Black. Yeah. Another show, I think it's called Dollface. Dollhouse, Dollface. Anyway, she's extremely talented. Super talented. She wrote, stars, directs, mm -hmm. executive produces the show. But yeah. Well, actually, show. interestingly enough, see this gentleman right here? Right. You see what his name is? Do you see what his name is? I don't have my glasses on. That's why I'm asking you. <laughs> if I Ryan see... Johnson. Okay. So, Ryan Johnson not only is the... I can't read this. Can you read that? I don't have my glasses. He wrote it, he's the creator, he's the director, and he's the producer. Right? We need to Google Ryan Johnson and find out what else he's done. Do you know? Right here. Can you read it? No, I don't have my glasses. <laughs> Why are we doing an episode without your glasses? I forgot them. Uh... Wow. Okay. Right before we started recording, I said to Zeus, do you know what you're going to talk about? Flashback. Do you know what you're going to say? Welcome to Import Poker Face. Okay. Yeah. I, I've got all the research. Did I you did. read your research? Yes. Ooh, I did. He just gave me the... Did you get this? Did you get that? Yes. The great thing about Poker Face is that if you watched TV during our era... Which we all did. Think about the shows that we all watched. McLeod. We Heart watched... to Heart. Heart to Heart, Columbo, Rockford Files. Rockford Files, really? Oh, that was a good one. Thank you. But basically, it what what would you call that? Uh, episodic TV. It was episodic TV. The show Poker Face is really based on kind of a derivative of those McLeod, it's an Rockford o Files. Homage. It's a homage. Anyway, if you liked those shows back in the day. This is really kind of a playoff of those shows. And um, Natasha, the lead in the show, kind of is like a female quirky Columbo. She kind of always, oh, you know, walking around and checking things out. And she's kind of moving from city to city. And the interesting thing is she has this gift. And the gift is she can tell 
when someone is lying. So what is it? It's a woman's intuition? No, it's not like a tampon commercial, okay? It's a real thing. And her comment always is when someone's lying, she's bullshit, bullshit. She, she calls BS on him. But the other funny part is now she's got this kind of twitch in her eye. So <laughs> it's really funny. The first probably 20 plus minutes of the show are played out like from start to finish. The show starts, it runs, it gets to a certain point. There's a murder, there's always a murder. And then what happens is they kind of go back to the beginning. And then while they're showing that same portion that you just watched, now the lead, Natasha, is in the show, but you never really saw her up until you know, in that first 20 minutes She's of the show. She's inserted into the storyline. She's line. inserted into the storyline, but you never saw her on the, so it's really kind of cool. So she ends up trying to go through, why are you laughing no, at me? No, I'm laughing at how funny she is and how ingenious she's she is. She's super and how quirky. She, and she's got this he raspy had a cigar voice too. and the worst hair ever. <laughs> I think that's a wig. I don't know, worst hair ever. But it just adds to her character and, and she just, she ends up solving the crime. Always. But every week is a different crime. It doesn't, the storyline only yeah. continues through one little thread, which we can't tell you about. Right. And then every, and which is what they used to do in the old days, every the episode days. has kind of a, for lack of a better word, a washed out actor <laughs> that kind of makes their resurgence yeah. in this show, like Nick Nolte. Uh, Ellen Barkin's in it, Benjamin yeah. Bratt, Judith Light, Ron Perlman. But they all play these little pivotal roles. You know who killed, you always know who did the killing. Because you see it. You see it, but it's then it goes back to... And restarts. I Pretty cool. I think it's very imaginative, it's original, it's creative, it's well done. By it's, the time we tell you about it, it's already got How eight, many episodes are there? Eight, I think. It? We saw eight last it's on night. on Peacock. It's on Peacock. Peacock. How many Lazy Boys how many did you give it? I was just going to say, how many Lazy I Boys? I four. Four and a half. Wow. wow. It's creative. It's just a little different. It's entertaining. It's cheesy, but it's just it's cute. It's cheesy by design, though. It's, it's, it's campy. It's not cheesy. I'm going to give it four and a half Lazy Boys, too, because I really enjoyed it. I did, too. It's refreshing. Yep. It's and you know what my motto is? No. Which one? <laughs> which motto is it? Seriously? Seriously? If I'd watch it again, I'd probably give it that four and a half star. Oh, I thought you were going to say, half, uh, they wouldn't let you watch it if you could die. Oh, that's That's your motto. motto. That's your motto. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Have thanks a great so. week. We will see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe. Please hit the like button. You or as the, as the kids... Everyone's getting so good at comments. I know. Their comments have been really good. Please comment. It means a lot to us. Stephanie gets up every morning with a cup of coffee and I reads really her... Do. She really does. I feel like I've made some really good friends. I know, right? And we're gonna get we're actually gonna be going out and visiting some friends too that we've made through the comments and But that's the whole point of this. Yeah. We wanted to unite empty nesters and we've got friends all over the country. Yes, we're some doing of the names keep popping up and up and up. I know, it's really it's it's pretty exciting. Yeah. So we will see you next week on another episode of What, what You're you watching. watching. What you watching? What you watching?